All right, so for the second tip in this series, I'm gonna show you how you can customize your Wacom pen. Now, this is something that is very subtle, but professional artists or uh, dedicated hobbyists will definitely feel the difference, um, even though it is very subtle. So let's go ahead and jump straight into it. All right, so before we start, I actually use the Wacom Pro 3. Uh, so this is the third version or like the one that comes with the uh, Wacom Cintiq Pro and it is really really cool uh, but I'm going to show you the different versions of different uh, pens that you might have so this is the one uh, this is the Pro 3 I also have the Pro 2 and I also have the one that came with my first Intuos tablet that I have in fact I have a bunch of other pens that I uh, that I use sometimes uh, depending on the device that I'm using and because I have gone through the years with Wacom uh, through different devices I sort of like kept the uh, the pens and in a different tip I'm going to show you how you can repurpose some of these pens now with these pens you might also have a different carry case so this is the one that I that I got with my Intuos Pro Medium and this is another holder another device for your pen so with this one um, ah, here we go. We have another pen in here. So this is your carry case. But in this case, you have a bunch of other nibs. These ones are right, right here that you can just, you know, take out and replace uh, when, whenever they worn out, right? So I want to show you how easy that is because it is kind of like an important thing. But I also want to show you that in this device, in this holder, um, basically this is what I use. Let's move this one out of the way. This is the one that I use to um, hold my pen on my desk, right? You can put it like this or you can also set it up like this. Right now, this doesn't work uh, or doesn't work great in this uh, with this pen, and I'll show you exactly why. So you see, if I put it here, it sort of like, you know, falls apart. Or if I put it too much in here, I just try to find like the balance. So it's not, you know, I don't want to spend time trying to balance it out. But I'm going to show you why this is happening with this specific pen. With any other pen, it just works totally fine, right? Um, and this is the Pro Pen 3, so I'll come back to this one in a second. Now with this device, if you actually turn it around, you see that it says open. So I'm going to twist this like so. It's easy to do it with both hands. Um, and it basically comes apart. And this bit right here is where you have all your nibs. I, for some reason, don't ask me why, I keep all my old nibs and this is how much I use them. <laughs> so these ones are already worn out. So this is the next one that I need to use. But for some reason, I just keep them. Um, there's no real reason. So let's say if I want to change this one with the with the current one, so I can take this nib, right? And I have this thing that also comes with the Wacom, right? And it allows you to essentially take this and grab this and pull that. So it just came out a little bit too fast, but here it is. So now my pen doesn't have anything. And I can just go ahead and put the next one in there, right? So what's cool about this is that it allows you to change the different nibs for different surfaces. So this one is going to give you um, a harsher, more like a plastic-like feel, whereas the one that I like to use for the most part is this one that has, um, hopefully you can see it, it has like this sort of rubbery style, and you see this one is started to worn out as well. Uh, but it gives me a much more paper-like um, you know, feel to it. All right. So I just wanted to show you that's how easy it is to change those nibs. Now, if you don't have this bit right here, Another thing that you can use is the back of this uh, of this device, right? So I'm going to take this other pen as an example, right? And all you have to do is just put the nib inside this hole here, like so. Let's do it on this different angle. And then you twist and pull out, like so. There we go. So you can just do that and replace it. Um, so it's very, very simple. I just wanted to give you like the different ways of doing it. Uh, but now let me go ahead and customize the the actual pin and the, and the reason for this tip these are kind of like extra tips that are not necessarily uh, the one that I want to show you all right so these are the nibs and the holder as well so the reason again going back to what I was saying before the reason why this one doesn't you know balance perfectly I mean sometimes it does but the reason it doesn't is because you can actually customize the weight and how it feels in your hand so this is one of the the best things I found about this pen. Now this pen is the again the Pro Pen 3, and it comes with a bunch of extra stuff, right? So I have um, these three bits, which are actually different, you know, replacement for this area right here, which are the you know the um, the but the buttons. This is to change the nibs, and in these little paper bags, I have extra plastic nibs, and I think I have more plastic ones here. Now these are the rubber ones, right? So great stuff. Now, the way that you customize it, uh, you can also, this is another thing that comes with it, this is another kind of like rubbery uh, holder to replace this one. You see, it's slightly different. Hopefully you can see the difference. Um, so I prefer this sort of like tapering effect. It just feels better on, on my hand, uh, whereas this one is more like tubular, doesn't have any taper. But if you prefer that one, you can just change it. So all you have to do is, you know, take this one out, like so. 
So now I don't have any any holder. You can use it like this, but it feels a bit weird. And then just slice this um, this new one in. Now this pen as well allows you to change how these buttons feel. So that's why I, I find it really really uh, really useful. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pull this out carefully. All right. So this is the one that I use. And you notice that I have another one that also has this um, these three points. Right. So it has the three buttons, the same as the one that I had. But the difference is the the height. Right, so I like the chunky one because I, I can feel the, the buttons a little bit better. But if you feel that it is too much, you can just replace it for exactly the same thing, but with a different height. So that's the value of this. Again, it's very, very subtle, but it makes a huge difference. Now you can do the same thing uh, with these two. You see, they're kind of like the same, I mean, the same finish, but different height, right? Just what I showed you before. Uh, but the difference with this one is that you don't feel or you don't have the three buttons. So you can go for you know, you still have the functionality of the three buttons, but you can go for something that is a lot smoother. So this is really, really cool. Now, the big thing is that you can change, like I say, the weight. So if you, if you take the pen and you pull it apart, let's go ahead and unscrew this back, right? This is the back of the pen. You have this little thing, which is actually a weight. So this part right here provides the weight towards the tip or to the mid section of the pen. Uh, whereas if I switch it around and put it like, do like that, Let's actually push it in here. So I just flip the weight and I can just go ahead and screw it back in. There we go. And now when I use it, the weight of it is at the back. So it, it just provides a, a, you know, a bit of a lift. So it's a bit, um, I don't know, I would say lighter way to, to draw, which I prefer the opposite. <laughs> so that's why it is a fantastic way that it allows you to customize it depending on you, when you, uh, what you want to do. So if you balance it in the middle, like so, it's going to fall right it's going to fall towards this side because that's where it is so that's the reason why this thing um, doesn't balance in the way that i have set it up but anyway um i'm just going to show you again <laughs> this is how i use it so i'm going to flip it so that the the heavier weight is towards the tip or towards the the mid section of the pen and i'm going to use the the one that i keep using for for everything which is my my three buttons here that's it has that's how you put it in slice in place it just clicks and then i have this softer um sort of like sleeve or, or rubbery sleeve that has the taper. So this is my preferred setup for this pen, but you can totally customize it with all the stuff that um, that comes with the with the Wacom pen. All right, so that's it. Hopefully this gives you an insight into how you can customize your pen. Um, I know it's a very basic, very simple thing to do, but I think it's one of the, the little things that Wacom does really, really well. So I'll see you in the next tip.